Hello. You like a little nose boop? Little nose boop. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my USA series. Yes, still in Florida, filming lots of videos out here. So today I have a little bit of a different vlog because it's more of like a behind the scenes vlog because I'm actually filming for the TV show Riding with the Reddens that you can actually watch the first series on Halls and Country TV. We're filming series two or season two um, out here today. So I'm gonna be in one of the episodes. I'm gonna be surprising the girls as well. They don't know that I'm gonna be coming here. so. That's it's very exciting. I think we're doing a little bit of riding. Oh, hello. I know. I'm sorry. This dude, he's like, uh, excuse me. I am the face of the show. I need to be, <laughs> I need to have all the attention. Oh, you're gorgeous. Um, so yeah, pressure's on for me today because I'm going to be riding a horse that I've never ridden before in front of the whole TV crew. So there we go. But anyway, yeah, I've got to be quiet because I need to go and surprise them in a little bit. Alrighty, so meet Lemon Cello. This is my steed for the day. He is only five, so a little bit of a baby and is actually a import from Germany, which is very cool. Um, he is also a grey and also very licky, so just like my boys back at home. But I'm very excited to ride him. Looks like we've got some really cool and interesting and slightly technical exercises that we're going to be doing today, so should be good fun. Yeah. Oh, I love a cuddly horse. They're all so cuddly here. I am now getting mic'd up. I have special secret mics on this show, so you can't see it when I'm used to being in the wind and everything in England, so we have proper industrial mics. But this is cool. Good to go, thank you. Good to go, cool. Double mic'd. Got your mic, got your mic, ready to go. So I've got my helmet on, I'm ready to ride. I'm gonna have to say goodbye a little bit now because we're going into filming, so I'm gonna have to take my my mic off and then the rest will be voiceover Esme telling you what's happening. When the Reddens first arrived, they did some behind the scene filming of them grooming, tacking up, getting ready. So obviously for this bit, I had to go and hide. They weren't allowed to see me. And then here I am meeting the girls for the very first time. Obviously I had to go and give them all a hug. We honestly got on so well and they're such a lovely group of girls too. So did a little bit of filming. And then after that, it was then time to walk the course so pressure was on to make sure I knew where I was going and then after that we also did a little interview as well. Hi my name's Esme Higgs, some of you might know me from my YouTube channel This Esme. I am a equestrian content creator and I'm here today doing some filming with the Redden. Thank you. Um, yeah she does this every day yeah. <laughs> So we've just finished scene one, which is me surprising the girls and also doing a little bit of a course walk. So hopefully I'll remember where I'm going now. The pressure is on though, because I've got to ride a horse that I've never ridden before. So we'll see how it goes, but hopefully he should be a really good boy. I've, heard, I've seen videos of him and he looks really nice. While I start warming up and getting used to Lemon, I thought I would introduce you to the girls and their horses in case you don't know them. So we have Abby riding Trey the Grey. We have Emma on Oaks the Chestnut. And we also have Anne-Marie on Gaucho the Bay. Once the horses were all warmed up and I'd got to know Lemon a little bit more, who I realized was definitely a slightly hotter horse. He was a bit more on the speedy side. We actually went out into this grass paddock where we did some jumping. We just hopped over a few cross poles and a few uprights and then there was an oxer there as well so it kind of felt a little bit like we were warming up for a show which was pretty cool. So Lemon has been such a good boy so far he um, is very forward he's got a lot of impulsion which is lovely he's really taking me to all the fences um, he's definitely a horse where you need to hold his hand a little bit you need to have a little bit more contact but he's only a baby he's only five so I'm really excited to try some of the exercises with him because he's feeling so good. Well done Lemon! We then headed back into the main arena, filmed a few more interview clips and met the judges. So the pressure was on because I was going to be riding in front of a four star rider, a five star rider and two Olympic riders. So yeah, that was a little bit scary. Abby ended up drawing the short straw in the end because she was the one that had to go first to do all the exercises in front of the judges. Here's me and Lemon going through. We were a little bit fast. I was still getting used to him, figuring out how to get him a little bit more round 
rounder and a little bit more connected but here are some of the girls going through looking fabulous as always these race trotting poles were so much fun and i really want to try and do this exercise with my horses when i get back home to england because they seemed so beneficial for them also me and lemon accidentally ended up cantering through the trot pole set so that was a little bit embarrassing um then here's Anne marie going through the grid and then us going through the grid as well and we really started to get there here's emma and oaks going through and we just had so much fun after each exercise we went back into the middle chatted with the judges about things we did well and things that we could improve and it's safe to say the second time we tried the exercise we all did a lot better and it was really lovely to take on the judges improvements we then did this really cool technical exercise in the corner and we had a little bit of a joke with the judges as well there were lots of laughs and the last exercise was this oxa which is a three stride to a skinny and i can't lie this was probably one of my favorite exercises we did because lemon got it first time really well Alrighty, we have practiced through all the exercises it's now time for the competition and the judges are a four star rider a five star rider and two olympians so the pressure is on on a horse i've only ridden today but he's feeling really good we're starting to get to know each other a lot more um i know that he's definitely a horse that i need to kind of get him to sit up a little bit more sit back He's very keen and sometimes I need to just be like, okay, slow down a little, but he is so cool. I'm having so much fun. So I'm only allowed to give you a little sneak peek of our competition rounds because you're going to have to watch the show if you want to find out how we did, who won as well, what scores we got, because it was really cool. All of the judges had a number that they held up at the end of our kind of competition round and it was really lovely hearing all of their feedback too and everybody did so well. It was a very tough and very close competition. I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing that I was the last rider to go because it was good as I could look at all the riders, see what mistakes they made, see how they tackled the course, but it was also bad because they all did really, really well. So when it was my turn to enter the ring, the pressure was on to do just as well. And I'm a little bit disappointed of how we went through the trot poles just because he was looking so nice before I got him so nice and round and then he just went a little flat going through them. The jumping though, he did so well, especially through some of the trickier combinations and we finished off over the skinny really nicely too. I always find it so fun riding a new horse because there's a lot to think about and I always find I learn so much as well from riding something a little bit different especially as it makes you a more well-rounded rider. Still getting to know each other I kind of wish that we just have like a week to get to know each other but by the end we were really starting to click and um, he felt so good down the bridge Although what happened was because I was like, oh my gosh, he's been so good, he feels so good. I kind of forgot that we had the rest of the course. So I really should have made him sit up a little bit more on course, meeting the judges too. It was so lovely to hear uh, really nice comments from them, especially as they're all incredible riders that I look up to. So yeah, it's been a great experience. Y'all, they went great today. <laughs> Trey was very good, definitely at the end he was just a little tense. After finishing up with the last little bits of interviews and filming, it was then time to untack Lemon, give him a groom and of course give him lots of treats for being such a good boy. I've just finished the competition with Lemon and he was so good. I kind of just wish I have, I could have like a week to really get to know him because obviously, ah! <laughs> My helmet tasty. <laughs> he is still a bit of a baby. He was chewing on his stirrups, which was so cute earlier. But yeah, he is definitely a horse with a lot of go. There are a lot of times where I just needed to be like, okay, slow down, chill out. Need to go a little bit slower into this. Um, but also because he's still a little bit young, you also need to have your leg on him at the same time to give him that confidence through some of the fences. So um, I always find riding a new horse is a little bit like trying to figure out how to make a seesaw balance you're just trying to like how much leg how much hand do i need but he was awesome he's got such a bright future ahead of him especially since he's only five um so he might be one of my favorite horses i've ridden in america so far um but yeah i'm really really proud of him and you'll have to watch the show to find out who has won so that will be out soon season or series two but if you want to watch series one then i'll leave some links in the description below of riding with the reddens i've had so much fun with them the girls have all been lovely so thank you so much to the Reddens for very kindly having me on their show I've had so much fun but yeah thank you to you guys for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time bye oh you remind me of Joey you just want all the cuddles and all the attention don't you yes oh.
Oh, good boy. Apparently, the other day he did cross country, so that's also a reason why he was pretty forward. Like, he was in cross country mode. You wanted to go, you wanted to gallop, didn't you? Well done.